Facebook like page, same name Moon Girl Taryn Moore. Okay, I do uh, do different forms of divination besides tarot um, and oracle. I do palm street, cast of bones, shell readings, several shell readings, tea leaf readings, ruin readings. I read the clouds, um, toothpick readings, pin readings, crystal divination. I'm intuitive medium. I also give intuitive messages. I channel. Um, do several other things so anyways guys so sorry about the loss of connection i'm gonna start over here the first card we did get was um surrender to the divine so there's still things that you may be holding on to or a person or situation and this can be vice versa energies guys if it's not you someone in your surroundings okay yeah something that you thought was going to make you happy with the king of uh wands however it really didn't here okay you were putting definitely uh more into a situation uh than the other way around here you were giving more to somebody or a situation or connection we also had communication okay so there might be some sort of communication that needs to be had here here okay i feel like somebody needs to speak their truth either you're seeking truth or someone wants the truth you know about something yeah something that's not going to grow anymore because we do have the empress in reverse here okay something that's not fruitful in your life anymore something that you need to let go of um you could have been dealing with somebody who was very immature or there could have been an age difference here do you have the page of cups so they would offer something to you but it was not sustainable it would always come with a catch okay yeah, somebody here could have been giving to more than one person as well. If this is a love connection, they could have also been breadcrumbing you. They could have also been like keeping you as a safety net. Do you have the four of cups here? Okay, um, upright. So it's basically waiting to see if something better comes along, to be honest. Um, you might have felt like somebody here was seeing you or viewing you as an option. Okay, somebody here definitely, I feel like there, were, there was a manipulative energy here. Okay, with the Queen of Cups in reverse. We also have the Devil upright. So, okay, somebody here could be um, a Capricorn or have it in their chart or dealing with a Capricorn. Something could have been very toxic and very binding here. You could have felt uh, very stuck to somebody or a situation. Okay, this is codependency as well. Over relying on somebody either emotionally or physically or financially. I feel like something here is ending or has ended, whether it be in love or otherwise here. However, it's not quite done yet here. It's it's like there's still unfinished business here with the three of pentacles in reverse. Okay, next is um, what do you need to release? So some of you, yeah, definitely being guided to release a um, situation that no longer serves you, okay, or a connection. Yeah, and you're doing it. Good for you. Yeah, we have the eight of uh, swords. In reverse so definitely letting go freeing yourself from something that no longer serves you here I do see that there will be options coming in here with the seven of cups okay upright also I do feel like there could be a sense of confusion here like still wanting to hold on then we have uh, be bold and make the first move okay let's see hey everyone how are you We have the, it could be areas of significance. We have the fool here. So starting on a fresh new journey, new beginning, you will be putting all the work to something in something. There could be some sort of offer coming in here. It's been taking a while because um, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest uh, night of the, uh, the whole deck. Okay, but there will be something coming in. Let's see. Well, let's see what else with Tarot. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I feel like there's some sort of waiting. You may be waiting on some news or waiting on someone or vice versa. This could also be to me travel, which I have been getting a lot in my lives. There could be some travel going on. Hey, everyone. How are you? Thank you for being here with me. Yeah, there will be some sort of ending to something. There, oops, <laughs> there could be a Scorpio of significance as well. Uh, big changes, metamorphosis here. I kind of want to throw some shells at you guys, to be honest. Yeah, okay. There could have been some conflict here. 
within work or love situations, okay? Um, again, immature energy here as well uh, with the page of swords here, upright. There could also be somebody spying on you, watching you, or vice versa. Take it how it resonates here. I also feel like there's a lot of remorse, a lot of regret here. I feel like there might be somebody wanting to make a turnaround towards you, okay, or vice versa. But you're off to a whole new beginning with the uh, Ace of Wands, okay? You took time, yeah, here we go. You hey, you took time to heal your heart and rest. There could be little to no communication with a certain person. Let's get some shots. September could be of significance, okay? There could be a, a Virgo of significance, which I did get in another live as well. I keep getting this. Uh, this is like the fourth live I've done today, and I keep getting a yes, a strong yes. So if there's something you're wondering about, the answer would be yes. I hope that's good news for some of you. Yeah, what I told you earlier, feeling bound and stuck to something or someone or situation. I feel like somebody here feels guilty about something. August could be a month of significance, or it was. Last year, there could be a Leo of significance as well. Yeah, there's definitely somebody here wearing a false mask in your life that you know of. Um, I feel like they're closer than you think, okay? Or maybe this could be somebody you were dealing with, like relationship-wise. Yeah, I feel like somebody here has a broken heart or is kind of saddened by something. Moon could be of significance, guys. You could be going through faces like the moon. If so, this too shall pass. Yeah, I'm picking up heavy envy energy. I did get this in another life as well. So there could be somebody who's envious of you or something you're doing. Somebody could be getting attention and someone's just simply jealous of it, to be honest. I feel like jealousy within the workplace. Heavy Taurus. I got it. This is, yeah, this is like the fourth one now. Taurus energy here. There could be a Taurus of significance as well. Let me see. Yeah, heavy, heavy, heavy envy here. Let me get some other shells for you guys. These are a different kind of reading. Let's see, how do you all? Okay, great. Okay, if you're wondering about something, the answer is yes. It might be coming sooner than you thought, which we did get a yes earlier too. Okay, you might have to be a little bit patient, but it's going to come in and it's wonderful news. I really like this. Okay, guys, I'm going to throw in some love oracles. Oopsie. Whoa. Yes. Some of you definitely need to heal something or taking time to heal. Uh, this could even be uh, healing things from like childhood trauma, okay? Uh, yeah, there's definitely some sort of conversation somebody needs to have, which we did get earlier. Um, someone's not too open about it. And even if you do get them to talk, I feel like they're not going to be truthful in this, okay? Like what truth are you trying to find out, I feel? Yeah, very soon. There might be somebody who's confused about wanting to continue a connection or not. Um, I'm picking up heavy Capricorn energy, guys, so you can have it in your chart. What did I tell you earlier that I felt like a, a, like a fake person or a mask or like within the workplace? There could be somebody who's like a friend of me here. I feel it really heavily. Okay, if you were dealing with somebody, there was not enough attraction. And I don't want you guys to feel bad because it doesn't have to be always aesthetically. I don't want anyone to think that they weren't pretty enough or handsome enough or, you know, um, in shape or whatever. You know, it's not always aesthetically. Sometimes you just don't match with somebody or you don't see eye to eye or you have different, like, um, views of what a real relationship is, okay? Yeah, Spirit's getting you to release somebody. Or they're releasing you. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, this is definitely somebody from the past. Someone you felt really strong to. Or vice versa, they felt very strong to you. 
someone definitely lost romantic feelings here. It's like you've you've had them for them, you had the feelings for them, but something they did was like it was like that's it. I just can't. I'm putting up boundaries. <sighs> Again, I'm picking up a lot of like childhood trauma or something, which definitely played a hard role in you all's connection, a big role. For some of you, a new person came in and it kind of like messed up whatever you had going on with this person, to be honest. Yeah, I feel like this connection really lowered your self-esteem. Okay. Spirit's here to tell you that you deserve love. Somebody here might want to reconcile, either you or them. However, the other person's pulling away. They're like, no, I'm done. Yeah, there was definitely codependency here. Over relying on someone either emotionally, physically, or financially. Yeah. Somebody here has some sort of, um, I'm going to say like an addiction here to the physical. Yeah, someone definitely pulled their energy back. There was definitely deception here. Possibly, I'm pretty sure a third party, to be honest, but take it how it resonates. Yeah, I feel like somebody here was looking for chemistry elsewhere. And they found it. Spirit wants you to stay optimistic about your love life, though. Somebody new is coming in. Someone who's a much better match. But you really have to free yourself from this old connection. Uh, you could be meeting somebody who's at a distance from you, either geographically or you... Hmm. Wait, I have two messages. It could be a lot of online stuff. Somebody could be here at a distance from you. Also, you could have been dealing with somebody who was um, doing a lot of online stuff with other people. Yeah. Definitely energy pulled back here. Yeah, somebody wasn't playful anymore or anything like that or flirty anymore. There was a separation if not there will be. Yeah, somebody here was ascending. It was definitely differences here. Somebody could have been more religious, more spiritual. Somebody else was just having a spiritual growth. Somebody was uncommittal as well. You could have been married to this person or common law, had children. There was a commitment for sure. There was no in-betweens, okay? So it's not like you were imagining this. Like this is a full-on relationship connection and they still stepped out on you. Some of you were not paying attention to the red flags. Love is blind sometimes, okay? There could have been a broken connection, marriage, engagement, whatever the case may be here. Yeah, someone here is definitely not expressing the way they truly feel. There's children here. Children could be of significance. There could have been a loss of a child, either miscarriage, abortion, or just simply if that's not the case, if you all don't have children or a blended family, uh, this could be like somebody wanted a new beginning, but they just didn't get it, okay? There was hard trust issues here, and I can see why. Someone here may suffer from low self-esteem. They may feel like they don't feel good enough, like... Maybe they're not worthy of love, but you are. Don't let this person or people make you feel that way. Okay, I do see for some of you a strong soul tie coming in for you guys. Okay, Let's see what else. I'm going to get some more tarot for you all. What else do you see in love? Yeah, some of you could have been dealing with somebody and there was just too much competition. Even if you were married to this person or living together or there was a commitment, there was definitely um, competition here surrounding this connection. Okay, there could have been a Gemini of significance. Somebody could have chosen between somebody else. Okay, yeah, you're messing with somebody who just was unreliable, would manipulate you with their feelings. This is someone you can't trust with your feelings. Okay. Yeah, you felt kind of defeated in this connection, but you're still going to win towards the end. Yeah, because you're putting these burdens down here with a 10 of wands. You're moving forward. Tens, endings, thus new beginnings. Why? Because you're on your way to happiness here. With, there's a Leo. There could be a Leo of significance. Okay. Yeah, you're putting work into yourself here. You're investing in yourself either aesthetically. Maybe you're doing something different with your hair, your makeup, your clothing, diet routine, whatever. Growing a beard. I don't know. Um, but... Whatever you are investing in, either yourself, 
you know, you're putting that self-love here, or this could even be moving, putting a down payment on a new place, a vehicle, something like that, sowing a seed, and you will um, reap the rewards of that. We also have the nine of um, cups, so yeah, wish fulfillment here. Something rushing in towards you is going to make you happy, okay? And then I guess that will be it. Thank you guys so much for your time. Please head to my uh, Instagram, the same name, Moon Girl Taryn Moore. My YouTube, same name, Moon Girl Taryn Moore. And my Facebook like page, same name, Moon Girl Taryn Moore. I so would appreciate that. Let me read some of your comments. Hey, everyone. How are you? Hi. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And as always, stay magical. Bye, guys.